We're seeing a trend of a new term, telehealth care, being adopted more readily. Um, we've seen that in the West Midlands, we've seen it with some of the industry players. Um, and you could say that telehealth care, although it's a laboured term, um, does support integration of health and social care more so. Well, that, that's the, well the key thing is, is to say, where is, what is telehealth then? Because does telehealth have a place? Because what Kevin was saying is that originally there was no telehealth, it was telecare and, and, and telemedicine. So we now have telehealth, what does telehealth mean? And then now you've got telehealth care where we don't know what telehealth is and you brought care into it. And you know, six or seven years ago, further back than that, telecare was telehealth. So there's a term that's been created that potentially means the same thing. That's where the first mistake was made, isn't it? Because yeah. you could certainly have social telecare or medical telecare, and that would have been fine, and you could integrate those and create telehealth care as a new term. But actually, someone chose telehealth as meaning something else. And some, in fact, it was something very narrow, which was the monitoring of vital signs in the home. And I think that's where the whole agenda perhaps got uh, railroaded a little bit towards some commercial uh, organisation's very narrow definition. And we, we ourselves as a company, and we originally in our research, all our papers were a telecare monitoring unit. And personally I felt having the telehealth there allowed us to differentiate ourselves from what was becoming telecare as a social, the alarms, the four detectors, the health being a remote monitoring, and then I see medicine being a diagnostic, sending x-rays and through the internet and, and actually practicing medicine and di diagnosis through the internet. And the telehealth being purely around remote monitoring of vitals and care being social care. Yeah. So, certainly so the that, telemedicine bit has, hasn't really been changed, as it? People still see yeah. it as yeah. a business-to-business yeah. business business. type yeah. with the, with the x-rays or the, or the scans being transferred, but certainly being shared as an educational tool or as a, as a means of avoiding a second visit. And, and I think the telemedicine side is quite se separate. So I, this I think that's just more, more clearly defined, isn't it? And yeah. people have less issue and confusion with telemedicine. They do see it as the diagnostics, the kind of doctor to doctor, but with the patient somewhere in the process. I think the greater confusion is around the two terms of telecare, telehealth, the crossover. Yeah. There seems to be adding to that confusion, key partners and stakeholders within the sector interchange the use of those terms and have different definitions. So journalists define it differently than health professionals. And you can end up in a situation where you're talking about completely different things. Uh, and that's where the issue arises. Well, and, and I think until you, somebody sits down and firmly agrees on, a, on, a, on that definitions, we'll, we'll always have this because you're going to bring uh, things around, uh, you know, what is assistive technology? <coughs> now a new term is e-health. Yeah, e-care. And it, and, it's growing and, and, and growing and into We're having term. lots of definitions and terms. 